right today we are going to learn about data collection and storage data collection and storage as a data scientist how data are being collected and stored where are data being sourced data collection and storage okay We are starting now we have six main sources of data we have six main sources of data as a data scientist you have six main sources whereby you can get your data from the first one we will talk about is web events web events website events data give me a minute okay let's continue now the main sources of data we are coming to talk about they are six one we have web events website events website events the next one is survey data survey data the next one is customer data the next is logistics data and the next is financial data then the last we have transactions data the first is web events the next survey data the next customer data then we have logistics data we have financial data and transactions data these are the main data source you can get your data from now let's take the web events data you see most of times websites most websites they have something called analytics they add this analytics to their website so that whenever a user comes to the website they can track no but the website the, the the page the user went what the how many or how many minutes the user spent there they actually gather all these data so if you visited any website before they gather data such as the the time stamp the user info and the event you came there to do this is what they gather what you went to the website to do the time stamps the time you went to the website to do the time you went there and the time you spent the user info these three things most websites collect them when you get there i will show you sample so that you can see it now when you visit a website for example a website which has an analytics this analytics actually help the data scientists of the of the company to make data driven decisions so let me say a website which has at least five pages you visited the website with five pages the moment you visit the website they know the time you came there 
now the time you spent on the website maybe you, you spend three minutes four minutes five minutes on the website they knows it and the pages you visited on the website they knows it this data is going to help the data scientist based on it and make decision for the company for example on a website maybe they have um calculator on the website they have ordering system on the website when you the user went to the website you went you spent five minutes on the website that data they have now which of the page did you in fact out of the five minutes did you spend most time on it let's see you spend most time on the calculator here they can be able to get that data based on that they can make data driven decision when i when i talk about data driven decision a decision which is being made based on the data you have now they have that in fact on mondays people come to this website and the the, the maximum time they spend here is five minutes and out of the five minutes in fact three minutes of each individual is spent on the calculating page of this particular website hence let's improve the calculating page of this website so the next time you visit you will see that the in fact particularly the calculating site of the website or the calculating page of the website has become more unique and improved they all these are being made possible based on the data they have they've taken a data driven decision based on this data now um i i quite got um let's see if i i can actually get this data for you Now, I'm coming to show you an analytics of a certain website. You will see the timestamp. You, you will even see the machine the person used to access the website. You will be able to see where the person accessed the website from. And you will be able to see the browser the person even access the website with. Now, the data scientist of this website has this data and based on it they can use for data driven decisions okay let me show you okay so you can see from my screen this is the analytics of a, a, a certain website now see my mouse one hour ago this person visited this person visited the website from the united kingdom you see the person used the edge microsoft edge browser the person used windows 10. this person visited 4 42 pm the person visited from bahamas the country bahamas edge browser windows 10. this person visited 12 35 pm from the united kingdom the person used chrome google chrome and used windows 10. this person visited the website from kenya used chrome used windows 10. you see so the data scientists actually have this data based on it he can make data driven decisions so this is how web events gather their data from their website and as a data scientist they use this data to make decisions to improve so you see the next time you visit the website you see a particular portion you've been visiting has become so unique to the extent that it has become outstanding whenever you go there you like to go to that specific page because they know what is going on they know how people are using such particular page of the website any question hello sir yes please 
Yeah, so uh, with the guns what we're seeing right now, what are some of the disadvantages to it to we the users? Assuming they're able to access your location, whatever you did on the page, the time, how does it affect with the client who access the pages? Right. Now, you, the user, you need to understand this. The internet is an open community. And so, the moment you are connected to the internet, or the moment you power on your mobile bundle, or the moment you connect to a Wi-Fi, you are very vulnerable on the internet. Here, to the company, the company is gathering this data so that he, they can make decisions on it to improve their services. Okay. Now, they know your location. They know the browser you are using. They know the, 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 actually the, the, what again, where you are accessing from to so your location, the browser, the, the OS you are using. This to the company, the company is using, will use this to make decisions to improve on itself. Now, you are asking of a disadvantage to the user. Here, you use that the only way you can prevent such thing is maybe you power on your IP address, then state a wrong location. Apart from that, there is no the other the others you can't. So that, the use of the VP, that means the use of the VPN. The use of the yeah, the VPN will just change your location, but they will still get your browser. They will still get uh, the so what about using the private the private browsers that you gave us especially the brave and the other ones will, will it also limit certain things that they they obtain from us so they will go the browser you get okay it? yes so the vpn will just block your location but the browser the the time you spent on the website so far as you are assessing their resource for you to prevent anything, then don't just don't just don't go online. That's the only thing you can do. If you don't want anyone to get such information from you, don't go online. Just be along highest with the internet. But so far as you connect to the internet, expect that they too they want to improve. They too they want to improve their system so that you can keep on coming. They can use this, make decisions, attract investors, and get money to, to actually keep their business growing. Okay. Now, let me, I'm showing you another thing. Yeah. You can see another web statistics, analytics. See where my mouse is. You see, they know at a certain time from unique visitors right now is 1.7k. Page views at, the, at this rate is 7.3k. Time spent on this site. So on their site, the average time spent by a user is 3 minutes, 2 seconds. They have a bouncing rate. This is, this is at a rate whereby uh, the probability that the user will come back to the website is 45 a point nine percent very high rate it means people are really accessing it they have the the speed of the site they have the monthly view of this all these they are analytics they are using to improve their system any question before we move on So you as a data scientist, you are going to join an organization. The organization is going to give you such data. They are going to give you such data. So you based on this data and make decisions. So you see, based on the data I showed you, when a data scientist of that company gets it, he or she will be able to know that, okay, people from the United Kingdom actually visit their website or uses their website. Therefore, let's do something that will attract them. People from Kenya are accessing our, the, our, our website. Now, what browser are they using particularly? Okay, they are more, most of them are using Edge, Microsoft Edge, or most of them are using Google Chrome. Now, let's 
at, at least let's actually optimize our website so that it looks more pleasing on the browser google chrome and microsoft edge so you see they will be using this data to make data driven decisions to actually attract you more to the website or to the system they actually built any question please right let's move on the next point we are visiting is survey data survey survey data now when we talk about survey data this most at least most of us if not all have um, engaged in survey before asking people for their opinions and so forth and so on. now in survey it takes a different whole lot of methods to get your survey data one is either face to face or an interview or online questionnaire or focus group or net promoter score please list them down under survey these are the methods either face to face interview online questionnaire focus group or net promoter score we are going to take them one by one now let's take face to face this is whereby the data scientists make a decision that okay for me to take a data from something or from a website or from something i'm choosing face to face okay this face to face will be like you 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 actually go out you meet someone have you used this system before oh yes oh how did you feel it how how was it like so this interaction this is the face to face and as a data scientist you'll be gathering this data so this is the face to face method you meet someone have you used this website before how you how did it go how's your experience with it is there anything you can say about it this 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 then you'll be gathering your data this is the face to face method we also have the interview the interview one this is whereby you you actually invite certain group of people you know these people actually uses my organization system so let me say you work at mtn you know people in let me say spenters uses mtn so you go for an interview you organize some certain group of people you do an interview with them you gather your data from there now the next one you can do to is online questionnaire whereby you can use your very your normal google forms to organize uh at least um everyone here filled a google form was joining the blue coda club so this online this also falls under online questionnaire so after that you can generate your data and based on it you can make a decision now we have focus group you see as a data scientist maybe you are working for a, a very big company your company wants to know that in fact what age age range mostly uses our services maybe your company is a manufacturer in bicycles they want to know in fact what age range actually patronizes in this bicycle business so you focus on a on a specific group or a range so you say you you, you as a data signer you set you, you you set your range so maybe from 15 to 30 years within that range you are going to focus on them and actually work on them know how they use and after that you can proceed from 40 to 60 from 1 to 15 that falls under focus group now there's one the last one is net promoter score how is this done okay this net promoter score i don't know if, um, how many of you have encountered this but you see there are some certain websites you will visit and after everything they will they will, they will just is it is it is a flash they will just bring something that rate us 
what's your feedback then they will be giving the rate number one two three four five they will say choose a number feedback then write something under it please who has encountered that before some website okay yes jelly okay very great some website when you actually visit the i'm trying to i'm trying to, if um i can get sample of the uh, how it look like net promoter so actually they give you a skill choose this skill for us mm, i want something very when you are done in fact using the website it will just come for you to choose a number then they will say thank you for your free feedback so all all these website that ask for your feedback after usage is called net promoter score i'm i'm trying to get um a, 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 a visual something um, what i'm getting is so complex very simple one very simple one so that at least you can even if you forget you can remember visually okay okay i think this this is this is this is nice i think when you see this you should be able to let me share it so that you can see okay now what you are seeing now you see some website after you are done they will give you something like this on a scale from 10 0 to 10 how likely are you to recommend this this website say quatrix to a friend or coolie then they will give you this number for you to choose then you just choose they will tell you thank you for your feedback or some websites will bring a box be like please can you recommend or any feedback for us then you just type then they will tell you thank you for your feedback all those all those files under net promoter score all these files under net promoter score so they get this then based on it the data the data scientist is going to analyze this then give a data driven decision okay as a data scientist so far you should know web events how to collect your data then survey data the next one we will be moving on is customer data customer data how you can get customer data on for your organization let me let me continue to share customer data in fact under this customer data we have a lot i need you to write something down we have public data then company data public data and company data we but after that we will do a short exercise about this i have a short exercise for you to do public data and company data how do you get this public data or company data for example you can examples are you can use apis api when you talk about api api is an application programming interface let me bring it very low now api helps us to source data from systems we are not actually actually interacting directly with so here's an example of it api i want to actually um let's see get to know 
users on Twitter who who most often mention um, um let me see the name Google in their tweets. So I'll go to Twitter and I'll type hashtag Google. You will see Twitter will automatically pop up every tweet with a hashtag Google inside. Every tweet with a hashtag Google inside is going to pop up. This is the work of API. It's actually going to help you gather information. Okay, we also have this method. Some when we talk about public data, these are data very available to the public. For example, a data like I want to know the the, the number of people who sleep hungry in the world or in the year 2021 this is a public data no organization owns this data when you go to google then you search this data you should be able to get this data this falls under public data but when i want to know the number of people who actually uses apple the apple apple products or who actually bought the apple product or the number of people who use a particular website i cannot get that data unless i get to that company and request for such data please note the difference between a public data and a company data very well public data this is a data that is readily available to the public and holds no restriction to accessing it for example I want to know, in fact, the number of people who drink dirty water in the world or who don't have access to clean water. This is a public data. But if I want to know the number of people who patronizes MTN or the number of subscribers on MTN, is a company data and I will need to go to MTN and request for such data. Any question? We have financial data. This data actually comes with um these financial institutions you see the sometimes you go for those who have gone for visa applications then show also or, or engage in program that requires your bank statement you will see you will be asked of your bank statement that's a financial data your bank statement is a financial data this data so you see you apply for a visa then maybe you you want to go to the states you want you go there you apply for 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 a visa now the reason why they ask for a financial statement or your bank statement is that they want to know that if in fact truly when you go there you are not going to stay on the street you are not going to steal people's things to leave or you are not going to attack people or you are not going to steal that you will be able to actually cater for yourself that's why these people they request for bank statement or financial statement they based on the bank st statements you are bringing to them or the financial statement you are bringing to them they make decision they will say oh this person um any person who have actually um issued a financial statement or bank statement you see that it states the current amount in your in your bank your over the years the bank you've been you've been dealing with they will based on this data make decision so the 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 the, the ambassador and and his team will get your your bank statement they will go through okay this person has this amount in his assistance now he has been spending this this is the range so based on this they can be able to say okay 
Yes, Kennedy. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, please. I have a question here. I, I, it seems I'm a bit lost. So please, uh, earlier you said um, the types of data. You made mention of public and company data, right? Yes. Yes, but please, now you are talking about financial data. So should we add it to the type of data or it's part of the public or the company? Okay. The customer data is divided into two. That is public and, uh, and, and company data. So public data and company data falls under customer data. Right now we are on financial data. Do you get it? Okay, please. Okay, please. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. So as I was saying, this financial bank statement something, you go and get your bank statement from your bank, you present it to the consulate or the, 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 the embassy. They will go through they will make a data-driven decision whether they should give you a visa or not. When you present to them, then they will know that, oh, this is the amount in your bank. This is how you've been spending. This is the amount you've been receiving. Okay. Based on it, it means when we give you visa to the state, you can go there and actually sustain on your own or yourself. Or if the bank statement is for your father or your mother, they will know that, oh, okay, then your mother or your father can actually produce provide for you and so therefore we should give you a visa to travel this is financial data data gotten from uh, uh, data gotten concerning your finances give it to these entities to make data driven decision before you can even get actually get access to something okay the next one we will be doing is logistics data logistics data please we will rejoin again uh, we have less than a minute then we will come back and continue okay when i share the link please share it to your people in your whatsapp groups so that they can also join thank you <music> 